Good morning and welcome to North Dakota Today on this happy Monday and this Veterans Day. So if you get a chance today, go out and say thank you to a veteran and the outstanding men and women that serve our country. Joining us this morning, not Lisa Boudreau. <laughs> this is Ashley Sorensen. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You've been here as a guest a few times. I have, so. yeah. Does it feel weird kind of sitting in this chair? It's or? different to be on this side, but so far so good. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Way to go. <laughs> I kind of want to brag on you a little bit because uh, she's very much into health and fitness and stuff. So she came up with this cool idea. They're called Buff Bites. These are right here <laughs> if we want to show these off, but they are fantastic. So there's two bags here now. They're probably going to be gone by the end of the show. But if there's you don't more mind, in the back, but. Oh, there is. And, and you know, just so we have a little back, nourishment. Back where? Like in the back uh, of the. Yeah, maybe. Oh, in, so, in the, so the newsroom is, is hoarding there. all the buff bites. Okay, I did, I did not know that. So, right. But if you don't mind, I mean, if you want to share a little bit about yourself and the buff bites. and Yeah, so I am a health and wellness coach. Um, I also am an entrepreneur, a multi-passionate, I say. Um, I write for Area Woman magazine, do a few other uh, health and fitness things. And then, yes, I came up with buff bites, and it's a plant-based protein bite. Um, actually, one of them I have caffeine in now, too, Love so it gave that. us a little kick this morning. So how did you come up with the idea? Like, you were just sitting around going, hey, I need, like, a better snack or what? No, I, I love to cook and bake, and I was making things for where I worked, and everyone thought I was super healthy, and yet I was using Crisco and sugar. And so <laughs> <laughs> I realized I needed to make things that I actually eat. And so now I, yeah, came up with Buff Bites, protein bites. So, so do you want to show these oatmeal. off? And sure, yeah, okay. What do we, look, this is so this oatmeal? So this is the ex, um, espresso one. So it has coffee in it. So Ooh. I don't know if you can see. Um, Let's see if we can get a close-up on that. Yeah, yeah, okay, there we go. And nice. so, yeah, oatmeal, peanut butter, or sun butter. Protein, uh, plant-based protein powder. It's like chickpea and brown rice. I love butter. that. And then uh, chocolate chips. But this one has coffee, instant coffee, brewed coffee. So you like kind of buzzing after you eat some of these? <laughs> yes. Or? Okay, good. So we won't eat all of them at But I will definitely have today. some. Where do, you, where do you get them at? So I have five locations right now. Swanson's, uh, downtown, the Y, uh, the Furco Branch, and uh, Maximum Performance, Bottle Barn on Veterans, and, oh, EHP in Moorhead. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I mean, doing a new business is not easy. So for people out there that are kind of thinking, you know, I want to start a business, but don't know where to start, what to do. Any suggestions on getting something off the ground? You know, if there's something you're passionate about, yeah, you know, go for it. Don't let anything stop you. Just start, huh? Yeah. And, you know, like it was something I was passionate about, and you know, I, I did the TEDx event this year. They, um, about buff bites? Yeah. Well, oh. I, didn't, I wasn't speaking on the Oh, on the I was like, dog. oh, you went and spoke on buff bites. I love that. <laughs> but I uh, catered for the event. Nice. So, yeah, you know, go out there, put yourself out there, and... Congratulations. She has got yeah. mad Insta game too. So if you want to follow her on, on Instagram, I think it's probably how you do some of your promotions, yep. I would presume. And yep. Ashley Sorensen. Um, I also have Eat, Live, Be Buff. I like Instagram. it. So, I like it. Yeah. Uh, let's pay tribute to our great veterans right now here on Veterans Day. I want to share this with you. So I think we have a couple picks if we can bring these up tone. And so Isabella's school had a great Veterans Day event uh, on Friday had a chance to sing some patriotic songs. And one of the things I loved is that the school invited them to show off family members that served our great country. So uh, Aji put together this great picture. This is Isabella and her great grandpa, my grandpa. He served in World War II and pretty amazing story. He was there the day that Japan and US signed the peace treaty wow. to end World War II. And then also when he got back to the States, this is an incredible story to me. I'd yeah. like to get your take on it. Where he got back to the States, he thought he was done serving. And they said, no, you got to take one more boat back to Germany. So he went and they ended up picking up people that were fighting for the Nazis. So, I mean, obviously wow. enemies put him on the boat. And he's like, yeah, we ended up like chatting on the way back. They ended up inviting some of these people back to their oh. reunion and stuff for the Navy. It was just, it was the most bizarre thing because you're thinking, wait, I'm supposed to be on the, you know, field, field of war right. killing yeah. you. And now, and I'm, now I'm, hey, with you. Yeah. yeah, come hang out wow. with me uh, at this reunion thing. So 
Do you have any family that have been in military? Yeah, well, um, both have passed away now, but both my grandfathers. One was in the Navy, and then one was um, in the Air Force. So, you know, hearing those stories, so if you know a veteran, like, ask them these stories, you know, and it's, yeah, pretty amazing, you it's, know, that you can't even imagine, you know, what they saw and went through. Yeah. Um, there's a great young man who's going around and he's, like, doing a bunch of interviews with the World War II vets because, you know, we're losing World War II vets every single day, unfortunately. And so now he's starting to put them on film and to, oh, yeah, I do this with my them. gramps, and to hear their yeah. stories, just, you know, being there after the A-bomb and, and being out in the middle of the ship and it gets hit and just, it's incredible stuff. So if you get a chance today, uh, whether it's a veteran or a current yeah. per person that serves our country, please tell right. them yeah. thank you. And, Those and men and women, yeah, thank you for God your bless. service, yes. Amen to that. Uh, apparently, do you hang out to this in the cities a lot? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, a bunch, so I want to get your take on this. Well, you should. St. Paul. <laughs> Paul, according to our producer Cordell, is like the hot spot for Thanksgiving. You ever been to St. Paul for Thanksgiving? No, I have not. Do you? Uh, but uh, apparently, yes, this is the hot spot <laughs> this, is the place this year. To go. <laughs> so when you go down to the cities, what, what do you end up doing? I'm visiting, uh, usually going out to eat somewhere, checking out different gyms, because that's kind of my thing. Oh. <laughs> all the different, yeah, athletic clubs, but. I um, love it. So your vacation is you go yeah. around and you check out all the different gyms and stuff? Right here, what's it? When you go on vacay, you go yeah. to all the different gyms? Yeah, and... yeah. I so love me, most that. people don't, and I, I, I choose to go. I'm impressed. That's all I'm going to say, I'm impressed. But yes, it was ranked based on 20 different metrics, food prices, flight delays, and then how thankful people are. In St. Paul, that's interesting. Yeah. I guess, you know what, if you have no plans for Thanksgiving, head down uh, to St. Paul. Now you sent us, <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to hear your take on this. What, what did you send us now? The least favorite Thanksgiving dishes. And on Instacart, a website, um, they polled people and it came up with cranberry sauce which is Cordell's favorite, <laughs> also. <laughs> you know, the canned cranberry sauce that comes out of the can, yeah. that's still in the mold, all of that. Um, and then, yeah, green bean casserole, sweet potato, um, pumpkin pie even, really? Like, and then Wait, turkey. What? Turkey. This was in the that top is the main, five? Yeah, the least like Thanksgiving dishes. Who, who are these people that were polled? <laughs> Not me. I, although, you know, cranberry sauce, I like to make that from scratch. Do you like cranberry sauce? I do. I've Not heard. out of the can like that, though. So if you had an ideal Thanksgiving plate, what's on your plate? Um, well... Other than buff bites. <laughs> right. <laughs> All the buff bites. Um, vegetables. I like to make Brussels sprouts, roasted Brussels sprouts. For Thanksgiving? Yes. Okay. So that is a dish that gets requested a lot. Um, yes, a cranberry salad. Um, I actually made a stuffed butternut squash. Nice. Um, with quinoa, kale, cranberries. So I kind of use that instead of turkey. Impressive. Potatoes, sweet potatoes. Man, I thought you were going to say like dressing and gravy. Well, okay, and... so I do really love <laughs> stuffing. I mean, you is have to, stuffing, right? Is it stuffing or is it dressing? I don't know. I've always called it dressing for some reason. Omniscient Tony says both. So I guess whatever, whatever you prefer. Um, we got to touch on this because okay. it was a huge weekend football-wise. The Bison win. The Minnesota Gophers. I mean, this was like a mediocre that team was, a few years ago. Beats yes. Penn State. Now they're number seven in the country. The Vikes beat the Cowboys last night. So uh, fun weekend for football around here. I want to remind you to check out the Farmers Union Insurance Bison football pregame show this weekend, it's going to be at 1.30 p.m. And then at uh, 2.30, the NDSU takes on the University of South Dakota. I think it's the, the Coyotes, the Yotes. Does that sound right? Yeah. Coyotes. So uh, check out the game at 2.30 here on Valley News Live. And then want to also remind you, please sign up for the Fargo Force giveaway. Uh, you can just go to our website, valleynewslive.com. Click on the old contest tab, fill it out. And we're doing the four-pack where you can win four tickets and some goodies to a great Fargo Force hockey game. So thanks to Buffalo Wild Wings and the Fargo Force for sponsoring that. And stay with us. Ashley Sorensen in the house, Buff Bites, and much more coming up right here on North Dakota Today.